Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Rich Reviews and today you join us at Goodwood for Supercar Sunday for the breakfast meet. Today's video is sponsored by Rich Reviews. Rich Reviews now provides services to support our viewers in purchasing their own dream supercar. Our services currently include pre-purchase inspection, support calls and collection video to document you collecting your own dream supercar. More information in the description below. Hope you enjoy the video guys. join us today driving up to Portsmouth so that we can attend the Supercar Sunday breakfast meet at Goodwood. So we're just following up uh, one of our colleagues Nick and his 458 Spider. We're not bringing the 458 Spider ourselves because we're bottom line is we want to keep the mileage down. We've got so many events that we've got planned with the car and we do so much mileage filming for the channel that for this particular event we wanted to keep we wanted to keep the mileage in lieu for the 458 so um, we're taking the above down we're attending the event so we'll cover off the event um, without the car it's a very nice area and we're on a lovely day so we're enjoying the drive down enjoying Nick's exhaust on his 458 with the valves open very much uh, reminiscent of course of how our car is tuned now so join us either later on tonight if we go out in Portsmouth for an evening meal if we decided to create some, some footage or tomorrow morning when we drive across the Goodwood to cover off the event. Thank you, you. Brilliant. Uh, you just got the on-site pass? Yes. Yeah. If yep. you just yeah, follow those companies. Today you join us at Goodwood for Supercar Sunday for the breakfast meet. So we're here at a location where some of the supercars have been lined up and um, where they've been parked initially. As you can see, we've got some, you know, it's a bit of a 458 fest. We've got a AJ's 458 here in a beautiful, like, liquid metal colour. It's like a polar silver. So it's a 458 Spider. Here we've got an M12 GTO. We've got another 458 here, a 458 Italia this time, and another 458 Italia next to this one. As I said, it's a bit of a 458 um, fest here today. We've got a 512 here, Ferrari 512. Always denotable by the amber lights on the front instead of the clear lights. And we've got an Aventador, Aventador S here. 
I don't know if it's a good idea to park, for them to park underneath these trees, but if you look here, you can see the, the clear covers on the engine. And it's, um, you can't see this, you can't feel this, of course, for yours, but it's actually quite warm. So the, the car's only just been parked here. Can we move along here to the right? We've got a 488 Pista with the central NART stripe. It's pretty cool. Always the notable body arrow in the front with the scoop, which helps a downforce on the front of the car. What we're going to do now is we're going to walk towards the track so you can see the actual racetrack here at Goodwood. And this is just moving towards the starting line. So as we're walking along here, this stretch, you can see from the left, all the cars that are parked, all the supercars that are parked to the left. The building over there to the left-hand side is where breakfast has been served. It's bacon rolls, the usual sort of fare for this type of event. As we're moving here, you can, we're just moving towards here now to the start line. This is the start line grid of the track. Also gives an appreciation of the amount of people that are here. So even though this event only runs um, from early in the morning, circa seven, eight o'clock to midday, there's a lot of people here. So we'll take a walk towards the starting line, give you an appreciation of how many people have turned up and also give you an appreciation of the type of cars that are here. So we're just coming towards the starting grid here. You can see the grid markers on the, on the track. And this is where most of the top end of the cars have been parked up. See a Mercedes SLS here. Beautiful red. I'm not too sure what they name these colours, but obviously it's red. <laughs> See the gold wing doors, the diamond cut wheels, and the beautiful, beautiful, like crema interior. The SLS AMG actually has the same gearbox as the 458. So here we've got a Hurricane Evo Spider. This has been spec with Verde Mantis as exterior body, body colour. They've colour coded the interior with the same stitching and the Lamborghini Bull badge. An Aventador SV here, matte black, it is actually paint because it's PPF'd on top. You can see it's got a black and light cream interior, but mainly black interior. Probably the Aventadors, of course, is that they're so friggin' wide. They're such a big um, stance on the road. And of course, they're single plate clutch. They won't put a dual plate clutch in the Aventadors. So we're just coming up here now. We've got a, we've got a McLaren 675 LT Spider. You can see it's colored in like a burgundy color with a black interior, red stitching on the headrest. Beautiful specification, matte carbon. So what they call forged carbon interior. Beautiful color, like a deep burgundy color. So you can get an appreciation of how many people are here today. Even though this event closes out at midday, look at the amount of people that have turned up. We'll just move along here. We've got uh, Ferrari 575 Super America. I've mentioned this before on my channel, but you can see that the rear roof actually latches down at the back and the whole thing pivots forward with a convex rear screen. So the way how this is designed is very impressive. And when you put the, when you put the roof back, which in effect is a full glass roof, actually latches. So these clips open up and then latch down on the roof as it's, as it's opened, as it's, as it's um, locked in place. Quite an impressive piece of engineering. Of course, being a Super America, designed and built for the American market. So we're actually here with Tim from Shmi 150. We've just met him here at Supercar Fest. Hi Tim. How you doing? How's your day going today? Can't complain. It's busy. It's very busy. Um, quite hard to get a look at the cars. But <laughs> hey, that's one of the, I think, side effects of having a turnout like this, right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So much comes along. Did you stay over in the area overnight and then no, come no, in no, early? No, no, I've come down with four of my cars today. Oh, wow. So to get everybody together, the only place we could really begin that was at home. So alarm at half oh, past cool. four this morning. And, wow, you know, early. Drill. <laughs> so which cars, which cars did you bring today? Down with the Ford GT, Hurricane STO, oh, really SF90 Stradale and the 675 oh, LT Spider. Right. Yeah, something interesting <laughs> to ask you about your STO. How are you finding that? Because I know it's very sort of track focused, really hard it's focused. It's very firm. The ride is extremely harsh, especially here in the UK with our roads, which mm. are famed for not being the best. Um, I've done about 4,000 miles on it, including some laps of the Nürburgring. I took it down to the factory in Italy in Santa yeah. Bolognese. Um, autobahn, you know, lots of fun. So experiencing it in places where it's more at home really brought the car to life and it means you put up with the uncomfortable seats and the <laughs> yeah, slightly older stuff. It's based on a Hurricane. It's 2014, 2015 kind of platform, right? Um, but the thing is that I find crazy is I can go somewhere with the SF90 and the Senna and the Ford GT. Crazy cars. But the one that will always get the most attention is the STO. STO, yeah. Which to me is mad because Technically, it's not the best. Yeah. Performance is not the best. Price, it's not the most expensive. Rarity, it's not the most exclusive. Yeah. But it's 
a Lamborghini. It's very brightly coloured and just makes everybody go like bonkers. Yeah, we saw <laughs> Hammond's little clip about your colour. Yeah, he yeah. likes it, doesn't he? It's his favourite fa spec. You mark my words, I'm going to get him to say, oh, actually, I quite like it. Yeah. That's coming soon. <laughs> we, we saw your collection on the SF90, by the way. Really yeah. cool place to collect the car. Yeah, yeah right it was by the really track. fun. Really yeah. amazing to be able to set that up. The, uh, the factory itself actually wasn't able to do handovers. Mm -hmm. Covid cases rising, etc., etc. So they weren't able to open it up at the time. So it was really amazing that effectively the communications team were like, OK, we, we can make a booking for a filming session. So we got the car there. Did some Fun, right? Fantastic. Park, uh, a Fiorano Enzo Ferrari's house. That was great. So, and then so. to do all that mileage you put on the car as well, straight Absolutely. away. Very rare for SF90s. As, as of today, yeah. it's 24 days old with 3,300 miles on the clock. It's been 207 miles an hour. It's done five laps of the Nürburgring. It's been to nine countries. And now we're here at the Goodwin Race Circuit. Amazing. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Really impressive. <laughs> So thank you very much for your time, Absolute Tim, pleasure. and best wishes with your channel, of course. Not that you need any best wishes, oh, you're doing yeah. very, very well with your channel. You. Thank you for having me along. Thank you very much, Tim. Thanks. Really See good later. to meet you. So we're just carrying on walking down the grid, and we've just interviewed Tim Burton for the channel as well. So that was a big coup. Um, so for, for those who don't know Tim, uh, his channel is, is Shmir150. And thank you very much, Tim, for your time. Very kind of you to do an interview on the channel for us. So here we've got a very interesting specified Roma. It's got the, I don't know if you call it an art stripe on a Roma, but it's got a central burgundy stripe all the way down the length of the car. It's in uh, a grigio, grigio grey colour. Again, not too sure of this, the specifics of the name that they give these. A, quite a classic spec, so not carbon fibre, just a standard rear diffuser. We come down here and there's another 16M, so this one in, in uh, Nero, so black on the outside. Black wheels, well grey wheels, and like a... Um, a burgundy centre section, which is obviously a cloth interior, Alcantara, Alcantara seats. Just going by, we've got a 720S. So here we've got a McLaren Speedtail. These are very rare. These are designed in a similar way to the McLaren F1 with three seats. So this has got like a, um, a volcanic colour in, which changes colour as it goes from the front of the car towards the back of the car with like an orange interior. Just to give some appreciation of the colouring of this car, you've got like a volcanic um, orange in front as it progresses through and fades into the red at the back. It's a very special paint job. So here we've got quite a rare car. On first look, you wouldn't think it, but it's actually a 430 manual. Very few of these cars are specified as a manual. At the time, everybody wanted the, the single plate clutch F1 gearbox. That meant that the manuals were very, very rare. And of course now, because the manuals are so rare and the F1 single plate clutch aren't sought after um, due to the dual plate, dual plate clutches, people are now really searching out these manual cars. And because few of them were made, they're really priced at a premium now. It always, it always interests me how the, the gear lever looks like it's an add-on, almost like they, did, they intended to have all of the cars to be F1 single plate clutches and then they thought, OK, well, we better create some manual. So it's almost like they engineered on top of the F plate clutch um, engineering system and, and just bolted on top the, the, uh, the, gated, the gated gearbox, the gated gear selector there. But obviously that's not how they did it, it must have designed it properly, but it's just the way how it looks. So here we've got a McLaren 600 LT, interesting number plate. I don't really understand those number plates design. I don't think they look good at all, but then maybe I'm just old. I don't think it suits the cars. But metallic black exterior with some naturally nice grey touches here on the, on the, on the um, vents into the engine compartment. Obviously the, the really bespoke and unique thing about this car is the exhaust and how they vent out the top of the rear engine cover. And look, uh, look where the reversing camera is mounted, right in the middle of the rear diffuser. So here we've got a 992 GT3. Black, 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 really. That's all you can say about the specification of this car. Obviously, it's a four litre. It's even tinted. Uh, well, you've got uh, the, the rear glass is tinted anyway. Um, the side windows are just slightly tinted, but it's just very much a black spec, grey wheels. Um, and this is a PDK and not a manual car. It never ceases to amaze me how wide these cars are now, these 992s, compared, when you compare them to the old air-cooled air cars. And if we can compare it to the size of the GT3 RS, 
996 GT3 RS next to it, you can see comparisons in size. I mean, a 996 model was a substantial increase in size over and above the previous model, which of course was a 993. But a 992 is massive in, compared to, in comparison to the 996. Here we've got a silver NSX, Honda NSX. This is the first edition, so the first first version of the NSX, which in my opinion is the is the best version, best edition. And this is the version that everybody is um, hankering after nowadays so these are going up in value as well walking down the line here we've got a lotus evora so james martin from jm on cars will know about that car very well had some bad good and bad experiences with his evora uh, 488 hurricane lamborghini hurricane uh, ferrari f12 in bianco so it's matte bianco actually it's a matte matte color um, 458 italia it's an interesting colour actually, like a green metallic grey. As we walk down again, we've got a 488 here, 488 GTB. Carrying on down the line, we have a Speciali in launch spec. As you um, avid viewers of my channel will know that I love a Speciali. This is a beautiful car. Alcantara seats with um, like a cloth section, centre section. A lot of carbon as usual for the standard spec of a Speciali. This, the person who spec this car as well put the winglets in carbon fibre, which lends itself well in alignment with the, with the matte black wheels, Speciali wheels that are here, which is standard, the standard Speciali wheels. And here they've got the, the standard specification on the engine compartment. They haven't added in the extra carbon on the side, on the side engine panels. And of course, it's got the central nut stripe. So here we've got a Carrera GT, commonly known the CGT or nicknamed the CGT. And this is in Carrera GT Silver. And this has a beige interior, which is a very common color scheme for the Carrera GTs. And you see all the Carrera GTs were actually left hookers, so they're all um, left-hand drive. You look at, if you look at the gear selector, you can see there the common, the common gear knob that's used, the turn wood, turned wood, circular turned wood gear knob, beautifully made, beautiful interior. So here we have a very rare car, a Spyker. This is a Spyker C8. You see it's in grey um, with like a Toscano, um, Cuyo Toscano interior. You see you can, the insignias around the car very much showing its heritage to aircraft. Beautifully made cars, very, very bespoke build. Look at the door mirrors, the design of the door mirrors. So continuing on down the line here now in this paddock area where a lot of the top end supercars are parked, we've got a 488 Pista, pretty much in launch spec. And next to it, we've got a, a, an SF90 in Rosso Corsa with a Nero interior. It's beautiful cars. As you know, Tim Burton from Shmi 150 has only just picked up his SF90 and racked a load of miles on it, which is really impressive. Fair play to him. So here we have a Ford GT. Again, quite a rare car, only provided in left-hand drive, obviously an American design car. And this, I believe, is in launch spec. So navy blue with the white center stripe. And supercharged, very obvious there, hanging over the top of the engine block. And even the number plate, look, GT05 Ford, in effect. So here, carrying on behind the actual scenes, away from the crowds, we've got a Lexus LFA beautifully designed car always denotable from its triple triangular designed exhaust system or exhaust outlets I should say in silver so this is a naturally aspirated v10 sounds absolutely awesome this car is one of the best sounding supercars that exists on the planet Last time we were around an LFA was when we were at the Supercar Fest, the hill climb last year. They used it. So we're here at the starting grid of Goodwood, which Shmi 150 has just lined up some of his cars, some of his supercars. If you look, he's got the Ford GT there, he's got his SF90, his STO, and also at the end, he's got his 675 from McLaren. So pretty cool, he's lined them up for his photographers to take some photographs for his channel. So obviously he's, he's had a discussion with Goodwood where they've allowed him to actually create this lineup. So it's pretty cool alignment. He's just getting some photographs for his channel. As you can see, he's coordinating the lineup. We look at the cars that he's brought today. He's brought his SF90, which is new. He's just done his, his tour with the SF90. Racked up a lot of miles on it from here. Picked it up from Italy. He's got his Lamborghini STO. He's got his McLaren 675. 
and he's got his Ford GT. Pretty cool ensemble of cars. He's brought these four cars today just for this event. You can see here the SF90. The Electrico, you can see here is SF90, Electrico Blue. This Electrico colour does not work for GTs, but it works very well on supercars, on mid-engine supercars. So here we have a very rare car, an F12 derivative called the TDF. This is in blue potsy specification, it's a blue potsy body colour. We've got the carbon fibre blades and blue Alcantara interior. Very subtle, very much a classic spec. Beautifully specified by the owner or by the original purchaser. Stunning car. You also have the carbon fibre side sill sections as well. Outriggers, I think they call them, or they can call them. And also diamond cut TDF wheels. Got the centre stripe as well, um, with a light blue centre section to the stripe, um, with what they call, I believe, is white pinstripe. And it's not really pinstriping in the definitive term, but they classify as that as the actual white stripes that coincide with the centre section of the stripe. Beautiful design, of course, the stripe existing underneath the lacquer. So it's a proper paint job with the stripe and lacquer on top. So it's been quite a short day today. The event only runs until midday. So we've got another like two hours of the event. Um, we've got to create some B-roll yet. So we're going to close out the video at this point. And um, we've got some fantastic cars here. One well, of the great events of today was meeting Tim Burton. So again, thanks very much, Tim, for your time. If you haven't already signed up to Tim's channel, Tim, um, Tim runs the YouTube channel, very famous YouTube car channel called Shmi 150 and also his Museum channel as well. Please make sure you subscribe to his channel. My son already met Tim when he was waiting to get a Swatch Omega watch in the in the queue thanks very much tim for your time um, really appreciated your time on camera so we're going to close out today from supercar sunday at goodwood thanks a lot for watching guys if you like the content please make sure you give it a thumbs up give it a like um, some great content to come and we'll catch you in the next video